Just to end how soap operas have changed the world, I've told you, everything you watch is part of the big agenda. BBC, soap operas aren't often celebrated for contributing to the good of society. They admit they're addictive, though, because they're meant to be. But around the world, the genre has been succeeded in providing educational entertainment, which is a blend of public service messages and melodrama that has enraptured millions of viewers. That's when it's your PC, political correct. And so he gives you an example here. Harry Oakes is Dan Gwen Berryman as Doris Archer and the Archers, which is widely thought to be the longest running soap opera in the world. It was in 51 that BBC Radio and the Ministry of Agriculture. So here you are, the Ministry of Agriculture run by the government and the BBC run by the government created the Archers, an everyday story of country folk, which encouraged farmers to try new techniques to increase productivity in the years after World War II. That was chemical farming, folks. And the chemical, chemicals came from the waste products of the munitions industry, from DuPonts, etc. So it's why soap? Well, the genre was christened in 31 when the first radio series Clara Lou and M attracted the attention of detergent manufacturer Colgate Palmolive. The daytime series had a long following amongst housewives of Colgate Palmolive, who became its sponsor, using it to advertise detergent. It's one thing to read a persuasive argument in print. It's quite another to be persuaded by the power of the human voice, says Andrew Crystal, professor of broadcasting studies at the University of Sunderland in UK. What was challenging was getting the message across without people feeling they're being harangued or preached at. They just put it in the soaps. What are you using there, Dara? Oh, it's palm olive. My, your skin looks so soft and lovely. And that's how you get stuck on it. But... There's a lot more goes into soaps than that. Everything that's politically correct for updates is in there too. And your comedies, and in your movies. From Hamish, myself from Ontario, Canada, it's good night to me. Your God or your gods go with you.